Hello, I'm Officer and welcome back to Stone Block, Episode 2. It's so hard not to say Waystone. I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who had attended the premiere for our first episode. So thank you guys, and I got some tips to go over. Oh, I even got one of the tips in my inventory. Naragath and Arslandia991 told me to use cooked apples as a food source, and it's much better than the silkworms, and I do agree. I mean, just look at that. It's a replenishment of hunger and saturation. You guys are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it has made a big difference in my life. Uh, made this mob farm here. Not really getting a lot of spawns, oddly. And I could toggle where mobs will spawn at. We can toggle it real quick. There it goes. The reds. And you would think for the rest of the world being stone, we would get more in here. But unfortunately, it's only been one or two here and there. So I don't know if it's just the way stone block is set up and how mobs spawn. We'll have to look into this and I want to maybe dig into it a little bit later in the episode. And I'd like to also get into Tinkerer's Construct. That would be a really cool thing to get out of the way. Uh, there's other things to explore according to MXM for Jetpack. That'd be neat. To, let's look at this. I was looking at auto saving too. Uh, we might try to get that one done today depending on how resource intensive it is. Yeah, you can get a jetpack, fly around. Oh, this is actually, oh, I thought this was from Draconic Evolution. Apparently not. But Draconic Evolution has similar looking armor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I've even got this set up, my bonsai set up. So this automatically farms trees that grow on the start. So you can just plant saplings in this, and this only costs us a few bricks with a hopper each. And looking at our resources, we're doing pretty good. We're going to get that food out of the way. I even got a diamond furnace from one of my loot chests from the questing. That is awesome. That is super awesome. This is super useful. I mean, you could just dump in stuff and it will get to work. You've even got another stack going for cooked apples. So much on standby. You've even got some iron stiffened mesh that really helps for gathering more important materials like diamonds and emeralds. So man, we are making the progress. Is this all copper? Oh, I've got even iron in here. I think I've got a couple stacks just put away. Yeah, I do. I've got two stacks. That should provide useful in today's episode to get everything done. Uh, let's go ahead and craft up this so that we can have some iron in the furnace. So going. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's only two pieces. Let's go ahead and pop this in here. Uh, that's all going to smell at a rather fast rate. So something else I've been doing is compressing my stone hammers. This is so much faster. <laughs> I mean, it is blindingly faster. Let's see, we've got a uh, stone wand. Yeah, we do. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of those and I'll show you. Uh, noticed a few endermans coming in. They're called evolved endermen. They're like, they got a green glow to them. They're crazy looking. Uh, I guess that's a common thing in stone block, but I got a couple of ender pearls. I don't know how useful those are. I think maybe for some crafting recipes. For example, I guess maybe the Void Hopper, is that what it's called? Where you can put it against a mob farm and it just collects all of the items dropped in the vicinity and then puts it into a storage, which we got to get to at some point soon. So unfortunately, no adventuring in the nether today. I uh, wish we had more time for that. But it doesn't really seem necessary at this point. We still got to get a lot of stuff done here in the starter area. So with this compressed stone hammer, it lasts as much longer. Well, <laughs> that's quite a bit of cobblestone. Uh, I'm, I'm not lying to you guys. Come on. You know I'm not lying. Uh, we've got a stone hammer here. I believe even got... Hmm, I thought I had a bunch of compressed hammers. Maybe not. That's enough, though. Uh, I've noticed you can get diamonds in the iron stiffened mesh from just gravel. And you get emeralds, too. It gives you a lot more, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and just do the rest of this and I will demonstrate. Ooh, look at any diamonds in there. Yeah, look, we got a diamond. We even got some lapis and coal. Uh, might want to dump that into my diamond furnace pretty soon. Let's go ahead and dump this away. I just wanted to show you that just, if you guys want a more tutorialized, I guess you could say, episodes, then, you know, just let me know and I can continue that. Or if you want just more of a gameplay, I could do that. But I like going through everything and just showing you what it has to offer. For the people who don't play Stoneblock, I was a little bit worried about that at first. All right, so today, I guess Tinker's Construct is on the list. We need to get some storage out of the way and maybe fix that mob farm, make it an automatic mob farm. I don't know about the auto-sieving. I don't think that's gonna be possible 
with all that stuff planned. But uh, I was looking at storage drawers. That would be a really cool thing to get into. Uh, I don't know exactly where the crafting recipe is for it. Let's see, storage drawers. Is that right? Is it just drawers? So you can make a bunch of these. Yeah, here it is right here. A basic one can hold up to 32 stacks per drawer. And this is a great organization system for beginning and stone block. So it should be relatively easy to craft because we got all the wood we would ever want, especially from the pond side trees. And I might want to look into extending this way. Tinker's constructs could open up a lot to us too. Or the different or smelting and configurations. This area needed some spiffying up, so I've dug out a new room to implement our drawer system. Ooh, doesn't that look fancy? And I reserve this block for a controller. You should be able to deposit items into that controller, and all of those items will go into the associated bin. So, for example, if I had cobblestone in this one, and I put it in the controller, it should go there. Very cool. Very useful. I, that's the way I understand it, anyways, from the tutorial. And we've got the miscellaneous stuff on this wall that was just kind of set in front. Uh, something cool that I discovered is a chest transporter. You can actually take some sticks like this and create this. And you can move like bins or chests. I'm not going to start with that because I think it gives you mining fatigue. Uh, I'm going to grab the cobblestone generator right here. Put it right there. And we're going to move this bin. Oh, that is so useful, guy. We need this in vanilla. <laughs> uh, we'll put it there. It breaks upon impact, but I think there is certain tiers and upgrades for that. So it can be used multiple times. So I never used this. Uh, maybe we should give it a shot. I guess cobblestone in my inventory uh, should be able to just... You just put it... Yeah, you just put it in there. I just put it in a whole stack. And you can look at that, I believe. Is there a way to... Yeah, there we go. And it shows different upgrades. Now, I think this is the upgrade they had got from my chest loot. So we might want to implement that for cobblestone since there is so much of that. And we need it for the mining dimension. I think you need like 58,000 cobblestone to make the mining dimension, the mining dimension portal. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can find that upgrade. Should be in this one. I uh, got to look around for a minute. Let's organize it so I can see. There it is. Now this is three times what it holds, 32 stacks. So if we were to upgrade this, I guess that would go up to about what? 1500 stacks? That's just insane. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab all this. So you can just put it in there, right? Well, whoops, I held shift. You don't hold shift. Yeah, so you can put in your stacks. I wonder if there's a faster way to do that. Ah, so you double click and it all goes in. And you can withdraw with one click, or if you want to shift click, you can get a stack. Very useful. I need this on waystone. So you could take a whole inventory full of cobblestone. Just go over here, double click, and it all goes into the storage bin. Right now, we've got 10k cobblestone in there. I need this right now on waystone. Please, please just give it to me. That's amazing. Uh... I was wanting to work on getting a chance cube set up because I was going to do that for the beginning of every episode. Now, I think the safest place to do this is going to be in the nether. Let me make sure I don't got any armor on me real quick. Uh, I haven't even seen the nether generation, so I was going to check it out. You know what? Let's grab maybe just a few of these apples in case we need those. And it should be in this bin over here. That's it. I was looking for chance cubes. There they are. Let's pull those through. And we'll go into the nether and open one up. Before we do, though, let's look at some of our unlocks. We've got quests, so the start of stone block, and I've completed a few of these. I think even for storage, I've got one of these drawers complete. Yeah, so we're going to claim this loot chest. Uh, let's go back to this one, claim the flint mesh. Let's try it out, too. Uh, fancy stuff. Fancy iron mesh. Let's grab the loot for that. So we've got three loot chests to check into. Epic bacon, never could go wrong with that, it's just in case you ever get hungry. Repair talisman, hmm, repairs nearby player items, restores one durability every one second. It's a bobble. Uh, we could put that in our bobbles, but I'm going to save that because I might use it in the future just in case, like, I'm in a situation where I really need to repair something. Man of Steel, yeah, I'm familiar with that stuff. Good old Botania. Can't go wrong with some Botania stuff either. Might want to get into it later on. I'm going to put my Game Boy in here just in case I need to use it. I'm going to actually take these chance cubes 
Uh, I'm just going to do one today. I'm not going to do more than that because it's a risk, guys. It's a risk. I have to just keep needing to put stuff away. Let's put that epic bacon away, too. Don't want to get rid of that. Uh, let's see what the nether looks like. I have not been in here yet. Hopefully, it's a good generation. Uh, should get the advancement for it. Ooh, it might be some loading, too. Ah, ooh. Let's take this off so we can actually see. Whoa, it looks totally different in the nether. <laughs> a mushroom, purple glow mushroom, glow shroom. Some fancy stuff going on here, guys. Maybe a lot of resources to check into pretty soon. Uh, we've got dark wood leaves, so I guess you can actually get like different styles of woods from getting these bushels. Whoa, that's really useful too. Soul stone. Hmm, some cool stuff. So let me go away from my <laughs> go away from my portal and try out this chance cube. Uh, we'll just do it like right over here. I don't think it's going to blow it up or anything. Uh, if it does, then well, whatever. If I die, then that's the way it's going to be, I guess. Square pants got the SpongeBob stuff. <laughs> okay, I don't mind being SpongeBob. Why not? So I got a sponge too, just in case you got to use it. Useful. I've just been a simple waffle over here organizing when I noticed something popped up over here at the mob farm. What's this all about? Is there an NPC in my world that has a tag on him? It is a compressed creeper. <laughs> I have a really bad feeling about this. So if I kill him, he'll probably split into a bunch of other creepers. So hoping that he stays on that block. If he doesn't, well, this mob farm didn't work anyways. So let's try this out. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. This is the most mobs I've seen here yet. Bunch of gunpowder for the collecting. Unfortunately, I don't got any sweeping edge, but that's okay. Plenty of experience. We've got a creeper head. I'll take that. Because I need that part of my organization chest anyways. Uh, I've got a plenty of skeleton skulls, but no creepers. What we got? So we got two creeper heads, a legendary loot bag. Oh, yeah. I've been collecting loot bags, too. Grab these. One more, one more. Those guys, I don't want to meet in the wild. <laughs> that would be a terrible thing. Uh, let's see what's in this loot bag real quick, and I'll get back to organization. Ooh, well, how fancy. Oh, I've got SpongeBob pants on. Nice, diamonds already. Ooh. Let's grab a few of those. Let's put them into our smeltery and see if I done this correctly. Oh, okay. So it goes by like that. Uh, you can actually increase the storage of the thing if you just build up a little bit more, which I didn't. <laughs> I put my faucet here and I'm just wondering. I don't know why I forgot this. I had done everything well up to the point where I put the faucet in and I'm wondering if it's going to drain from the side like that. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on in there? I can actually see inside. I was wondering what this was used for. I guess it's just for aesthetic purposes. Uh, alright. And... Was there a way that you could drain that? Oh, boy. Yeah, I overlooked the smeltery drain. That's what you gotta have behind the faucet for it to go into your casts and basins. I don't know how I overlooked that. I used to be a big fan of Tinkerer's Construct. And I was looking into the tool forge could use a tool station. I think it's the last thing I gotta, I gotta get. So, tool forage, I think it used to be iron blocks instead of electrical steel blocks. I find that odd, so I'm gonna try this with iron blocks instead and see if it works. Let's go back into that just seared brick, I'm gonna say. So, let's test this out. It should be, I need a couple of sticks and I guess woods to make this uh, pattern. Is that what it's called? I forgot, pattern template? Let's see. Ah, right there. Blank pattern. Uh, let's try a crafting table there. Oh, there's our tool station. We gotta find a crafting table. Put this here. We'll put the seared brick on top, and then we're gonna do this and this. It works! What? I'm a little bit confused. Oh, block of iron. Oh, you could use all these different materials. <laughs> I'm not the brightest tool in the shed, guys. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we have been filling this thing up, trying to get to a certain point, and I went to the nether to collect some of the common materials found there. Died from a nitro creeper. They blow up super fast. And got my player head and put it in the center. I think it looks pretty cool. Been decorating with these factory blocks. These things are super cheap. And I think they're only four iron and four stone. So, been putting those to use. Like the previous mod pack we had played on. And using chisel and bits for glowstone. Which is a very cheap but nice looking lighting source. It's really coming together. I think it looks good. I sort of want that. I've been addicted to these loot bags really bad. <laughs> I just got done doing my mob farm. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's just like the standards, like platforms and trapdoors, and they're falling down into the iron spikes. Bunch of googly eyes. I wonder if I got googly eyes. No, not yet. Uh, let's check out these loot bags I just grabbed, though. Just one of them. Which, die, it's a little bit loud over in this area, too. Ooh, an emerald sword. That's pretty cool. Uh, what would be the attack damage on that? So it's seven attack damage. This is seven attack damage. So it's the same as a diamond sword. Same durability and everything. It's just, just really neat to have, though. Uh, novelty item. Green instead of blue. I also got a diamond chest transporter. And I don't know what this is. Pig iron? Uh, if anyone could let me know in the comments, that would be awesome. With some Ethereum seeds. Which could prove useful when we get into other mods. But yes, I'm glad I got this one in place. I just got to get an absorption hopper. I need an eye of ender. I don't have a blaze rod or anything, so... Yeah, gotta find that. I guess I gotta go in the nether and see if I can find some blazes and just kill a few and maybe get some blaze powder for that. That way we can get it out of the way. But I'm collecting a lot of stuff from that little area, just breaking that glass and getting in there. Uh, I got these out of a legendary loot bag. I remember that in Crazy Craft. I didn't record Crazy Craft, but if I remember correctly, they're much like chance cubes. They just behave differently whenever you unlock them. So I'm going to dump some of my items off and go into the nether and see if I have any luck when it comes to getting a blaze rods, because it's going to be big. <laughs> you have one large hat on you, sir. Oh, he's got googly eyes, too. <laughs> That's the biggest spider I've ever seen. A heat scar spider. Now, I've seen the smaller ones. Uh, hey, got a hat too. Oh, he spawned smaller ones. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, I need to find more of those. I haven't had any luck, unfortunately, trying to find that uh, nether fortress. Uh, ooh, dimensional shard ore. Is this, is this pretty good stuff? I should probably take care of the spider so he doesn't bother me. Yeah, lay down. I mean, by some crazy chance, do you drop blaze rods in this mod pack? Because if you do, it's going to help me out so much. You got a really cool looking hat, though. You got sunglasses. That's even better, man. That's going to be my favorite one so far. Uh, if I could slay these magma cubes. And we got a couple of loot bags. It'd be really nice if one of these had a blaze rod. But nope, we got a blue slime crystal, redstone, and a bunch of gold horse armor, just in case we've ever got to use it. Okay, so I done it completely wrong. You're supposed to find blaze powder like this, and I just found some. There's like a 5% chance. Compress dust. That's what you got to use. I feel so stupid. <laughs> I was like digging around in the nether for the longest time. Now this stuff I think is going to come in handy pretty soon. Uh, Sergis Quartz, so we might have to use that in some electronics or other crafting recipes. So I will do the rest of this later. Let's go ahead and get our absorption hopper out of the way. We've got three blaze powders, so we've got some redstone from that too. Uh, very useful. It has turned very deadly here in the base. I don't know what the eyes are for. I don't know if that's like googly eyes. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> I want to try my best not to look at them, but uh, I'll need some obsidian. Okay, and if I remember this correctly, you can put this into the smeltery with some water. Uh, here's a sink. Let's put this, I think you gotta put it into the drain. I don't think you can put it into the smeltery controller. Uh, yeah. I think you gotta put it into this drain that I have right here. I think this will work. So we put lava in there. And then if we put water in there, that should create obsidian. Molten obsidian. I got one block. 
So we need to just continue with that process until we get more. I don't know how long it will take to dry up. But ooh, isn't that pretty? That is just precious. And the good thing about this is we don't even have to mine it up. We can just collect it once it's done. It's at 100% ice bucket challenge. That feels amazing. Oh, because I had made these manually, I didn't get the ice bucket challenge. I was confused there for a minute. I was like, wait, I've done that already, but no. I haven't had a block of obsidian in my inventory yet. So let me work on this for a minute and we should have enough for our absorption hopper. Hey, we're almost there. I'm just going to craft up a hopper and we will be good. So let me get eight pieces of wood without this Enderman staring me down that creep. Okay, we got a chest here with some iron. Awesome. There's our hopper and we've got our eye of Ender and we're going to do one more block of obsidian and I believe that will be just it so we'll just put that in there and then we'll drain it out come on smeltery do your business you useful thing I'm, I'm so glad i got this out of the way i was debating on waiting for this i was really scared because i heard that creeper <laughs> we're gonna get all the good stuff i should have a chisel to fix that uh and i need to kill off these endermen too so let's see here i've got everything i need let's go to advanced crafting table and I'm pretty sure it was like this with a hopper there and an eye of ender on top. We got the absorption hopper and basically what this does, I'm just going to put it above one of these. I need some item pipes for this to work correctly. Uh, I believe it will go. OK, I guess you can go different directions with it, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, I need to go down. Yeah, so like this, and it should go into my storage bin, but that takes up the whole thing, so... Looks like we're gonna have to break this block just to access our small storage crate. And all of our stuff is go in there. Blitz, you creep me out! Stop! <laughs> so, we get a nice collection system as of right now. This should be big enough. It's the equivalent to four double chests, or four, four chests, not four double chests. And we need to get rid of these innermen. And this pigment, this pigment really gets on my nerves. Let's kill him real quick. Yeah, I have smite, so that that's just a nice quick finish. This guy is creepy. He's just been standing in front of me. He's trying to kill me. I don't know. These devious plans in his back pockets. But I feel like we've made a lot of progress for today's episode. Ooh, I like that. Looks fancy. <laughs> we made a lot of progress, I believe. Uh, put in a lot of work trying to get this area complete so we can actually start getting stuff automated in the background. For example, the loot bags, which is going to be super helpful for finding materials we might need or get into. So we got like an epic loot bag. Just grab it right out of the small storage bin. An ender tether. I have no clue what that is, but it sounds really cool. But I think that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode. Have a fantastic day.